This is a method that I use to attach a button to knit or crocheted fabric. First of all, I use sewing thread and I double it in my needle. And then a nice way to tie a knot is to bring the thread around in a circle so that it creates an X shape with a needle at the top. And then wrap the thread around two or three times. Hold on to those wraps as you pull the needle through. It gives you a really nice knot close to the end. And the more wraps you make, the bigger the knot is. We don't need a large knot, but we do need to anchor our thread to our fabric before we stitch the button on. So I'm going to start by coming up from the back side of the work to the front side. I'm pulling most of the way through, but I'm going to leave my thread dangling. I'm going to stitch down at least a couple strands of yarn away, but I want to make sure it's going to be smaller than my button so it won't show. I'm using a contrasting color here so you can see it on the video, but normally I would try to match my thread to my fabric or my button, depending on the button. And then I'm going to pass my needle through the loop of the thread. So this is similar to when you make a fringe. So I'm anchoring the thread to the fabric. It can't pull through um, the way that it could if I just start stitching with a knot, it might pop right through. Then I'm ready to sew my button on. And I usually sew through each hole in the button three or four times, depending on the size of the holes and also if it's a functional or a decorative button. You don't have to worry about a decorative button being quite as secure as one that needs to keep your cardigan closed. So I sew through each hole a couple of times. Now if you have a very thick knit fabric, if you used a, a thicker yarn, you probably want to create a thread shank on a button with holes like this. And the way to do that, um, if you have a really thick one, you can even put another pin or needle or something under here when you're sewing to kind of create a little some more space between the fabric and the button. But if it isn't super thick, you can just do the thread shank. So I'm going to come up here between the button and the fabric and wind my thread around behind the button a couple times. That's going to create a little shank. You can see there's a bit more space now between them. So it creates room for the second layer of your fabric to um, fit behind the button nicely. And then I'm ready to tie this off. And the way I like to do that when I'm doing hand sewing is I take a little stitch in place on the back of the work. Here I try to go just under the thread if I can. Pull it most of the way through so there's a loop. And I go through that loop twice and pull. And it's really nicely attached on the back. And I can cut off the extra thread. And especially if this was a matching thread, that'd be almost invisible. And I've got a nice secure button on there. 